I'm late as hell on this, but that's kind of per as usual for me with tech. Like, I read about it, and then I go fuck off and do something else. But anyway, I finally got some time to sit around and talk about the upcoming Cabby Lake i7-7700K. This is a CPU I'm waiting for myself. Though I'd much prefer to have, like, I don't know, a 6-core, an 8-core Intel. I just can't afford it. But, you know, this would be a decent upgrade for me. Now, there have been leaks and supposed benchmarks that are out and everything that I've heard about it is pretty impressive. It's very geared towards 4K production from what I understand which would be great for me since I now do 4K videos and I also hear it's not bad on 4K gaming. Uh, I, that's all rumor and speculation there, you know, it's secondhand stuff I've heard. I haven't seen any official statements on this but, you know, let's see what we find out. Intel's next generation Core i7 Cabby Lake CPU has been one of the most anticipated releases in the tech world. Now with the spotted Geekbench 4.00 benchmark citing its powerful improvements the latest intel core i7 7700k cabby Lee processor is expected to sit atop the single core performance charts i've even heard rumors that this could like can render shit at the level of a 5800k i don't know how true that is i'm looking up now but let's keep going according to wwcf tech the intel core i7 7700k cabby lakes single core performance scores a 6131 in single thread performance 20,243 and multi-threaded performance indicates around a 14% increase from the previous generation and multi-threading performance on the other hand shows an 18.5%. Now most people who are used to you know computers and Intel and everything this is the same old song and dance from Intel you know incrementally getting better you know 10% here maybe 15 there that's why a lot of people are still rocking I think to 700k or some shit like that uh, I can't remember it but it's like an older gen CPU and it's still performs just as well it's just about a 4790k well not that well but you know good enough for gaming but since i do a lot of uh media crap i could use a jump for my 4700k if you had a 6700k i probably wouldn't even bother with this for the slight incremental jump built on an improved 14 nanometer process Cabby Lake features a faster CPU clock speed. The system configuration shown on the Intel Core i7 4700K 4 core 8 thread processor running at 4.2 gigahertz, uh, which is the base clock. And I'm pretty sure the boost clock was something like 4.6, 4. Point something like that, 5. It's got to be around that. It has to be because the 4790K is 4.4, 4, so it has to be a bigger jump than that. And this was running la on this was running on the Gigabyte Z 270 XP. SLI Crossfire motherboard with 32 gigabytes of memory. Though the look of the comparison between the leaked 7700K benchmarks versus the previous generation Intel Core 6700K, both benchmarks revealed that the 7700K crushes the 6700K. The former gained a performance of 10% in the processing architecture benchmark and a whopping 33% in the processor multimedia benchmark. Let's see, Custom PC Review has learned during the Intel's release of the Broadwell E i7-6800K chip, in the past, the processors have six CPU cores with hyper-threading, allows two threads per core, and comes with a 28 PCI Gen 3 lanes. The main updates of the Broadwell E involve slightly higher clock speeds, on the 6800K and the move to the 14 nanometer process with some minor improvements on the architecture that boosts performance to a few percent. Furthermore, benchmarks suggest relatively good improvement on Intel's processing capabilities. The Cabby Lake processor is rumored to emphasize more focus on multimedia processing as well as bringing new and improved features by integrating HRVC slash P9 4K video capture along with other things. Well, essentially, it's obvious that the 7700K is geared more to multimedia, it's geared more to 4K, probably uh, production as far as video editing, encoding, etc. And I wonder if this will translate to gaming. Hopefully it does, for me personally. And I think that might just actually be the case because it's very clear that the GPU market is just flying ahead of the CPU market, in my opinion. But since Intel's only, you know, competition is AMD, they get to do these sort of incremental updates, which leaves most people who are enthusiasts, well, the most enthusiasts have the money to just get the bleeding edge all the time. Then you have guys like me who are very interested but can't afford. We're like the middle of the pack. We'll wait a generation or two for our next CPU upgrade. Then you have the guys who can't really throw around money like that. So they have to pick a CPU and with Intel, you pick the best CPU you could afford 
sit on that fucker for anywhere to four to six years and then get a new Intel ch uh, CPU and it's kind of worth it at that point because let's see if there's a one every what year or two 10% jumps and it's not huge but over the course of time if you wait two generations that's like a 20% jump from the i7 4700k uh, as far as uh, processing power blah 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 listen I'm not gonna sit and speculate I'm a little tired but I figured I'd share that with anyone who was interested in jumping up. Now, I know some people sit there and go, hey, wait for AMD. And I totally agree. If you're in the market for upgrading your computer and you're interested in the 7700K, then I would wait to see what Intel's offerings are. But from what I'm hearing about AMD is their newest chip that they're putting out. I think it's going to be an 8-core that should perform as well as uh, recent Broadwells, like the 5800K or something like that, at a much lower price. But that's all speculation, I heard. I don't know for sure. I haven't seen any leaks to confirm this or hard proof, but we'll see in time, I guess, when January hits what the hell's up. That's going to do it for me. Enough of me wasting your time. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning in my channel. And ba -da -ba 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 -ba. he runs off. He, he would run off if he could find the off button. There it is.